Get ready, everyone. The solar scientists and the people who look at the data of our sun say that what we experienced the last 48 hours with this powerful CME, the entire solar disk was basically dimmed by the magnitude of this massive eruption. They say that this is just a small taste of what is about to come, that our entire electrical grid is truly under threat right now, that we could just wake up one day, the power doesn't work, the lights won't turn on, your vehicle won't work, your chainsaw, basically everything that has been electronified. Uh, of course, all of the gas things that they're trying to get rid of, the gas chainsaws, the gas generators, minimal electronics, minimal computer systems, all those things will work fine. So why is it that they're trying to get rid of all of these things and make you wholly dependent on the things that won't work if we have this type of disaster? But just look at the magnitude of this happening. Now here at Full Spectrum Survival, we actually captured some of this. This is video that I got as the CME was hitting, uh, as we started to experience what was a G5 solar storm. So this is uh, just crazy to see the sky was lit up. This is exactly how it looked to your eyes. Now we had reds, we had a little bit of blues. You could see the radiation really pouring in there. Uh, my brother was there with us. Yeah, no, this is what was it the same color before red pinks and blues pinks and, and blue. greens. Oh, uh, and... you could see like more of a, yeah, it's changing again. Uh huh. So we sat out there and watched it literally in the freezing cold because some of these things are once in a lifetime events that you will see. Imagine what it's going to be like when the power never comes back on. Watch Gavin Newsom. He is the uh, California guy and he's out here tweaking on the national stage talking about climate change after he flew a private jet to discuss how bad your carbon emissions are. Home values will start to decline. You're seeing it across the spectrum right now, in my state included, which is one of the most blessed and cursed states as it relates to climate. We're on the tip of the spear of climate change, simultaneous droughts and simultaneous floods. What type of personality trait makes it so that you can't talk without moving your hands in a way that supposedly describes what you have to say. I don't know, I've never seen this type of drug before. As it relates to climate, we're on the tip of the spear of climate change, simultaneous droughts and simultaneous floods. The hots are getting a lot hotter, the dry is drier. You saw one of if this guy ever gets into the presidency of the USA, we are done for. Mayor Brandon Johnson. The federal government intervened before government's immigration enforcement has been marked by violence from this council to hold the federal government of the United States above measure. He's just proving he's not that smart, right? I mean, <laughs> uh, asking the United Nations to asking the United Nations to talk, you know interfere with ICE enforcing U.S. law is like asking an arsonist how to stop a fire because you UN member. The, the, the IOM, the part of the UN, helped fund the mass migration during the Biden administration four years, spending millions upon millions of dollars hoping that uh, that migration, uh, international migration, comes to the United States. Yeah, they want to force out the people who just know how good things used to be and how bad things are getting. Because if you recycle all of those people and you make them the absolute squashed minority, they can't speak, they're not allowed to let everyone know how great things used to be, but how garbage they are today, well, then they can get away with a lot more. And that's what the UN pushed for. Obama's this is the presidential walk of fame. Now, whose idea was this? My idea. Well, and everything's my idea. What everything's you your idea, okay. Yeah, sadly. Who's that guy? Uh, that's Barack Hussein Obama. Okay. This is uh, Biden right here. Wait a second. The, the profile. President. The profile of Biden. So is he's old. the worst president in the history of our country, and Barack Hussein Obama is top five. <laughs> is he saying that he is Barack Hussein Obama? Oh boy. All right, let's keep going here. This is the Pakistan defense minister declaring that the country is in some sort of state of war. This is after multiple attacks took place within the region and something we have to keep a close eye on because we have a lot of involvement over there. 
When do we get the economic data releases? We're craving data, especially uh, those I numbers know. on jobs. <laughs> yeah. I love how that reaction is. He's like, well, we're not going to tell you how bad the jobs are. Those I numbers know. on jobs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, the, I haven't been briefed on that yet because there's been, you know, quite a lot of disruption because of this terrible shutdown. And so, for example, I've been told that some of the surveys were never actually completed, so we'll never perhaps even know what happened in that month. And so we're we'll never know how bad the jobs market is because they're backlogged and just can't report that information. So that's a great way to show that the American people are whatever the government we says they are. They're thriving it's because the government said so military that's why we have officially renamed the department of defense back to the original name department of war and remember this was trump speaking at arlington virginia this is in uh observance of veterans day where he said that we are very thankful to all of the veterans and everybody who has made this country great and we're going to fight hard to make sure that this country is great once again. A major. Okay, this uh, will maybe give you a little bit of a idea of what to get ready for next time. Major geomagnetic storm is about to hit Earth, and this is a big deal. Space weather storms are rated on a scale from G1 to G5, with G1 being minor and G5 being extreme. This one is forecasted to reach G4 level, which is very severe. This is just one step below the most powerful type of geomagnetic storm. These storms can cause a ton of different problems, including disrupting GPS signals, causing radio blackouts, and even creating voltage spikes in power grids. But Okay, let's see what else we've got going on here. This is Sean Duffy saying that uh, there's a patriotism problem. If you didn't come to work when you weren't getting paid, and a lot of people, they said, stopped coming to work even before the pay stopped, now they're going to see them as anti-patriotic and maybe find a good reason to get rid of them for that. President's also talked about penalizing some of these air traffic controllers who took sick time. So can you talk about what that plan would look like there. Well, I, my, my concern is uh, for those air traffic controllers who, before they missed a paycheck um, and we were in the shutdown, uh, they decided on a, on a continual basis not to show up for work. They don't know how, lo how long the, uh, the shutdown was going to be. They had missed pay a pay period and they didn't come to work. I'm concerned about those controllers. I'm concerned about their dedication. I'm concerned about their patriotism. And so we haven't made a decision. Which is kind of wild to me because that's like saying that if you're not willing to work for free, you're not a patriot. And that is really uh, very close to paralleling some dangerous governmental ideologies that we have seen in places like China. We've seen these in places like Russia. If you're not willing to work for your country for free, you're not a patriot. So just watch out as we observe a shift in the uh, perception there. I need to answer it. What is next for the economic plan for this president? We're focusing relentlessly on affordability. So President Trump's working to bring down the cost of living even more than he already has. So Thanksgiving meals are going to be 25% cheaper. Now, let me discuss that. Thanksgiving meals, and they're just marking because Walmart came out and said, in cooperation with the U.S. government, we're going to make the Thanksgiving meal package 25% cheaper. But they took out about 30% of the goods and weight by volume. So they reduce the weight by volume, they reduce the amount that they give you, and they drop the price by more than, by less than the amount that they reduced. So it's absolutely crazy to say that Thanksgiving meals are going to be cheaper because that's like saying, well, if you, uh, if you only buy one cucumber, it's going to be cheaper than buying 10. And thank you for doing that. But President Trump is not content with that. He is fighting to bring down the cost of every single consumer and household good. And the tax bill is going to be a huge part of this. Because this is China's 800 meter bridge crumbling. They said that this was possibly a uh, tectonic event or it could have been an engineering issue. Oh, it's literally like in a, a post-apocalyptic movie as we see these events take place all across our world. The, we inherited... 
Secretary, amid this discussion of, of, of costs and prices and, and, and affordability, um, how does a, a, a $20 billion bailout of Argentina help uh, Americans? You're the president's point person on that. Can you explain to those here uh, who are feeling the pinch, including America's farmers, why the United States is helping out Argentina? Well, can, can you, do you know what a swap line is? It's currency swap, yes. Yes, but what, what is that? That's, you're the Treasury Secretary. Yes, sir. but why would you call it a bailout? Because that is how it, 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 in most bailouts you don't make money the US government made money we used our financial we used our financial balance sheet to stabilize the government our, one of our great allies in Latin America during an election the president there won the in a landslide the government's going to make money and I would rather use peace through economic strength than have to be shooting at narco boats coming offshore. Interesting, as he again points a parallel to using uh, the bailout or the, uh, the currency swap there, the credit line swap with Argentina, instead of firing at their boats and controlling their territory. So guys, this is getting hairy pretty quick. You're watching Full Spectrum Survival on YouTube. Hit the hype button if you see it down there somewhere below. From my family to yours, please stay safe. Check back tomorrow morning at uh, the morning broadcast and then the 2 p.m. one in the afternoon. Every day we work hard to give you information so you don't have to scroll for the doom out there. I bring you what's important, what we see trending as the next problem we will face in the great USA. From my family to yours, Please stay safe out there.